Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem four dash eight. So in this problem, it is given that if the vertical displacement of end of and A of high strength precast concrete column relative to B and B relative to C are 0.08 and 0.1 inch respectively determine the magnitude of P1 and P2. So if you have watched the video of problem 4.7 so in this problem it is opposite to that. Here the vertical displacements are given so we will write given data in given data it is given that vertical displacement of end A of high strength P cos concrete relative to B. So A slash B displacement of A with respect to B is 0 0.08 inch and B relative to C and displacement B with respect to C is 0 0.1 inch. Determine the magnitude of P1 and P2. Also, you can see here that length of AB is equal to length of AB is equal to 10 feet, which is again equal to 10 multiplied by 12 inch is equal to 120 inch. Length of BC is again 10 feet, which is equal to 120 inch. Area of AB is given as this length 6 multiplied by 6 so 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 36 square inch the cross sectional view or sectional view section bb is given over here therefore area of bc will be equal to 10 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 100 square inch what we have to find we have to find this loading P1 and in part 2 we have to find P2 there so let's start with the solution so the normal force developed in segment AB and BC can be found by using the pre body diagram so first we will section it along length along the length of AB and we will draw free bar diagram for AB so let me draw it so you can see this is here we have load of P1 and P1 here this is point A and at this point where we have cut there we have load P A B and this P A B is equal to minus 2 P 1 why minus 2 P 1 because P 1 P 1 is 2 P 1 and this load is shown downward the rest the other force this force that I will show you is shown downward while in reaction force in this remaining portion this force will be acting upward so this is P A B now for part for for segment or for portion BC we will cut it along this clear and we will draw the free body diagram. So I am going to draw it again from this portion till this. I will draw it as much as short. Again, there is a portion okay so here the load is was given as p1 and p1 and the load here was given as And this load is PBC. This PBC is equal to now minus 2 times P1 minus this P2 and P2. This is P2. So minus 2 times P2. 
if you take minus s comma so it will be equal to minus 2p1 plus 2p2 this is equal to pbc now we have pbc and we have pab we can find the rest of things i will move upwards so that you can have the given data so as it is given that displacement of point a with respect to point b is given and that is equal to p a b into l a b divided by area of a b into e of concrete e of concrete is not available that will be taken from the book that is this value is available at the end of book i will show you average mechanical property of typical engineering material us customary so you can see that uh, this is concrete high strength so its e is 4.20 into 10 to the power 3 ksi we will note this value and we will write it so pab is given as minus 2 pi p1 sorry and length of ab is equal to 120 inch area is 36 Area AB thirty six and E from the table is four point two into ten to the power three and this del AB is equal to zero point where zero point zero eight clear and that is zero point minus zero point zero eight why minus because it will move toward B the given B point A moves toward B so it will be minus zero point zero eight. So minus zero point zero eight is equal to minus two p one into one twenty divided by thirty six multiplied by four point two into ten to the power three. So from here you can easily get the value of p one and p one will be equal to fifty point four. You can calculate it fifty point four. This is the value of P one. Now we will find the P two. So again, we it is also given that delta of B with respect to C is given as zero point one. That is given over here, and this zero point one. Is equal to delta of B C displacement of B with respect to C is equal to P B C into L B C divided by area of B C into E of concrete. So you have all the value you can put it. This value will be also minus because B moves towards C, so it will be negative. So minus zero point one P B C is minus P B C is this. Here, so you can put it minus two multiply by two p one minus plus two p two into length of b c is one twenty inch divided by area is hundred area of b c hundred and e is four point two into ten to the power three so minus zero point one Is minus two minus two into P one is fifty point four that we have calculated earlier. This is minus. This is P one and P two is not known. We are interested in to find P two. So two P two into one twenty divided by Hundred multiply by four multiply by four point two into ten to the power three. So from here you can easily get the value of P two, which comes out to be one twenty five kips. So P one is equal to. Fifty point four kips, and P two is equal to one twenty five 
okay and this is the answer of our question 4-8 i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching